How's it going guys? This is David here at Roller Warehouse and today I want to talk to you guys about sizing for rims skates here. Uh, I ride rims so I know a good amount about how they fit and uh, I think I can probably help you guys out if you have any troubles with it. So um, I'm a size 11 shoe normally and I like to ride a size 10 rims. Uh, but the reason I can do that is because size 10 and size 11, here's a size 11 rims here, these are HR 1.1s, uh, it's the same shell size so what that means is that it's an actual uh, exact plastic boot. As you can see, they, they line up, they match. They're the same exact size, size 10 and size 11. The only difference between it is the actual liner inside the skate is a little bit bigger on a size 11 rather than a size 10. So it's going to fit a little bit looser, but it's going to be the same, like I said, the same boot. So you're not skating anything bigger, it's just going to be a little bit of a looser feel. So I like to go for size 10 because I like my skates to be really snug when I first get them. So um, when you first get these skates, you want to make sure that the laces are all undone, they're all loosened up nice and <clears throat> nice and good, and uh, they come from the manufacturer really tight, so you want to uh, make sure you just loosen it up, get everything all nice and loose, pull the tongue out like that almost, and then you want to reach inside, you want to grab the paper inside of it, throw that out of there, okay we're good, and then uh, once you get it all nice and loose like that, you can see I have it all opened up just like that, I'm going to just slide it on the foot here, bam, pull on the tongue a little bit, don't be too forceful. When you get in there, it's, it's a really tight fit when you first get these skates. I mean, my toes are uh, don't have too much mobility at all, honestly. But that's kind of how I like it. So uh, also, you want to wear long socks like this. You don't want to wear ankle socks. You want nice and long socks to uh, prevent against any blisters or anything like that. Um, so you get it. And when you, when you try them on, you want to make sure, obviously, you have enough room in your toe. You don't want your toes to be squished, but they're going to be a really tight fit. Uh, but as long as the toes aren't, you know, curling up against the end or, or really smashed in the, in the front of the skate, then you got the right size. Uh, then you just tighten it up a little bit, do that, and you don't really even need to uh, do too much when you first get it. You just need to stand up, kind of just bend, lean forward a little bit like that, get the sides, make sure your toes aren't smashed up in the front there. And if they're not, that's the size you want. As you can see here, um, the size 11. I'll try that on also. It's the same exact size. I'll, I'll give you a little feel on how that is also. You open it up. Same procedure and everything. Throw out the papers there. Get this one on your foot. And it's just a slight difference. It really is. It's not that much of a difference at all. Size 10 and size 11. As you can see, they're the same exact size. Nothing is different between the actual boot, just the liner is a little bit bigger. But other than that, it's the same skate. So with rims, if you're, if you're stuck in between a size 10 and size 11, you really don't have to worry about it too much. You can go either way. It's going to be the same kind of fit. Uh, it's just barely a little bit looser on this foot. But um, otherwise, as long as your toes aren't hitting the front of the skate all crazy, they're not smashed up in the front, um, you have the right size. So I mean, I've tried on size 9 before, and it's just that's not happening at all. So you usually know when they're when they're too small or if they're just really tight. You know, it's going to be a lot of pressure down in your toe here, a lot of pressure from the sides, um, but that's good. That's what you want. Because when you first get these skates, they're tight like that, but then they break in a lot when you start skating them. So you want them to be almost that tight when you first get them because you know it's going to be the right size once they loosen up and once they break in. But uh, other than that, it's the same thing for, uh, for a size 8 and size 9. Um, the same shell size, just like size 10 and size 11. Um, so if, if you're stuck in a size 8 or a size 9, not quite sure which one to get. Um, and you're worried about it being too small, maybe just go for a size 9 because it's going to be the same boot. Just a little bit more of a looser fit, but not too much. You know, like I said, they're really similar. Um, but it goes 6 to 7, and 8 to 9, 10 to 11, and 12 to 13. So um, you, know, you really have to worry about it when you're in between shell sizes. Like if you're going to get a size 11 or a size 12, then you might have to worry about it. But because it's a different actual plastic boot. But uh, with size 10, size 11, not that big of a difference, you'll, you'll be okay with, with either one. So uh, that's pretty much it. Rims fit really true to the shoe size. Like I said, I mean, I'm a size 11 shoe in uh, pretty much everything, and I can get a size 10 skate on my foot fine, and it fits, fits great. Um, if you're a size 12 shoe, you could probably even fit a size 11 skate, honestly. It wouldn't be too bad, but um, I'd probably go for 12 just to make sure. But um, it's up to you guys. Like I said, they're true to the shoe size. so. That's how they fit, that's how they should feel when you first get them, so uh, get a pair of rims, try them on, if they're fitting tight like that, but not crushing your toes, then you got it. That's pretty much it, these are the uh, rims HR 1.1s right here, and you can pick these up at RollerWarehouse.com.